Ladies and gentlemen, so uh, for this particular installment, I want to emphasize um, when it comes to things that I will be looking for as an instructor in the class, um, if I'm designating certain vegetables to be cut a specific way, um, the goal is for you to be able to show me those cuts. Again, this could be done, you know, obviously through photographs, um, good ones, of course, so I can clearly see what uh, you know, the result of your cuts are. Um, or, cause of course, through video, um, which is what I'm illustrating here. So this is the rutabaga. Now, I, I don't want to cause confusion. Clearly, in the recipe packet, it doesn't say that the rutabaga needs to be cut, you know, uh, parmentier or carrere or julienne, alumet. It doesn't require that. All it requires is that it's cut into one-inch pieces the size of the potatoes so they all have a chance to cook at the same rate. Um, and so, you know, the rutabaga or the potatoes don't get under or overcooked, etc. for the puree. Now... Um, but I am, of course, going the extra step because I want to make sure that um, I have every chance that I can to communicate clearly what the expectation is. So, you know, if the recipe did call for julienne, you know, that's where I am with that, right? If it's, you know, a batonet, you know, um, and that's actually a little bit long. Um, to be honest, I can cut those down a little bit uh, so that it fits the, the two inches, but you kind of see the point. Um, this is um, my uh, Macedonia, my, my small dice there. Um, Parmentier being a bit larger. Um, sorry for that. There we go. I could try to focus in a little bit better. Um, and then, of course, um, I've even did a quick paysan as well. Um, so, of course, with a root vegetable like this, I can get uh, many different cuts. Um, and I'll, of course, continue to choose um, specific cuts for vegetables that make sense. Uh, hopefully that makes sense in the explanation in itself. So, of course, if you have any questions about this kind of stuff, please let me know. But again, to end this video so that we're all on the same page with clarity and expectation um, as you do your uh, at-home um, labs, when you see a vegetable cut, uh, vegetable that requires a cut next to it as we would normally do in class, the goal is for you to be able to attempt it. Um, I'll be looking forward to seeing what that looks like. Um, and as I've always been saying, happy cooking. Good luck.